After arrest, if the officer asks me for a breath test or blood test, should I take the requested test or refuse? There is no simple answer to this question. First, Georgia law says that you have the right to refuse. However, refusal can cause a total loss of driving privileges by an administrative suspension. This leaves you totally without driving privileges. Additionally, some police departments will request a judge's search warrant and forcibly take your blood to determine your alcohol level. So theoretically, you could be totally suspended for a year for refusing a test and have to face a blood test at your trial. Now if you know that your numbers will be too high, you may decide to opt for a refusal and take your chances on being able to drive by winning a trial. But if you do refuse, be prepared to fight the case to the bitter end, even if trial is required. If you take the requested official breath test, and this occurs only after being cuffed and arrested, then you have the right to request one or more independent tests of your choice at your own expense. Plus, in Georgia, a person who refuses the testing does not have the right to get any independent tests of their own. If you submit to the state breath test, then immediately after you've taken their test, you should request a blood test and name the location you want to be taken to to get it. You have to pay for it. But once that's completed, then ask for another test, this time of your breath, and name some nearby police station for that test. If the officer refuses to accommodate your request for both of these independent tests, this may work in your favor. No matter what you decide, do hire an experienced DUI lawyer immediately. We will do the 10-day letter for you, along with your $150 fee to the state, and we will fight to help you try to avoid the suspension of your license. Call us at the toll-free number below.